so, so up and down all year long. It just seems so mentally fragile at times. And all of a sudden, this starts and nothing seemed to phase you guys. You kill any penalty. What happened? What clicked in? Well, I think it was gut check time about two weeks ago during the playoffs. We, had a, we thought we had a spot. Uh, I think we got as high as uh, six, almost into fifth, and uh, uh, started sliding. I think we went on about a four or five game losing streak and, and needed to reevaluate real quickly and, and kind of turn things around. And uh, to everybody's uh, credit, we were able to focus and, and understand that we needed to take it game by game and not look too far ahead. And, uh, that's really what we did in this series is just focus on the present, your next shift, your current shift, and just not get too far ahead of the game. And, uh, um, by doing that, it allowed us to focus more and, and really prepare uh, to try to get these guys as well as we can. As a D-man, can you explain how a guy like you could seem to be squeezed out of the back of the team? It seemed too small to do with the team. Yeah, you know what, it's an art form. You know, guys like that, uh, I'm sure he was, he's been questioning Junior and questioned all, all the time growing up that he was too small to play. And, you guys like that, you learn how to squeeze through and get past guys. And, uh, he's obviously very shifty and a great skater and, and somebody who uh, very creative with the puck. Do, do those guys bug as many more than he's been a guy that's only size or anything like that? Well, you'll have to ask somebody else that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. That was